So I don't know about you guys, but one thing that I struggle with quite a bit is perfectionism. And maybe you have that kind of situation as well. And if you notice the title of the video, it's all about stopping being a perfectionist and learning to fail successfully. And you might think of the old internet meme where it's the Windows XP and it says task failed successfully. And that makes no sense whatsoever. But let me explain. Stay, stay with me. Give me just a moment and I, I'll get us there. One of the things that perfectionists often do is we over obsess with instances of shortcomings or failures where maybe we failed to meet a deadline or we failed to meet someone's expectations of us. And when that happens and that occurs, it just devastates us. And it's, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to continue on? What am I going to do? And we let that completely ruin our momentum. And so when you run into an instance like this where you fail or you have something that doesn't go as planned, it does start to kind of disrupt your momentum, your objectives, your goals, and you may stop. So here's a practical example for you, and then I'll go into more of what I want to explain. If you are trying to lose weight, and I have done a massive weight loss journey, there's a video on my channel, it's an old video, not great audio, but it's out there. But if you are wanting to go on a weight loss journey, and you set the goal of, let's say you want to lose 50 pounds, and you are doing great, you lose 10 pounds, you're excited, you've got this momentum, it's just been consistent, and then all of a sudden you hit a week or a couple weeks where you don't lose weight. And you start to become a little frustrated because you've not made any progress, and then maybe you get to the next week and there's some family events, a holiday, something going on, and all of a sudden now you've gone back up two pounds and you've went from losing 10 pounds to now you've gained two of that back. You've only lost eight. 10 sounds a whole lot better than eight. And it's, oh my gosh, the world is ending because you've gained two pounds back. That's the way we as perfectionists often address a lot of our goals. When we have a setback or a period where things are not progressing as expected, we let it completely derail us. And a lot of people on a weight loss journey like that, they just give up. They throw in the towel and they say, that's it. I'm done. No more. Just whatever. I can't lose weight. I'm done. And they completely unravel everything they're going to. But one thing that we have to recognize, and this is a great lesson and something that if you can learn and practice will completely change in how you do goals and how you work towards objectives. That is learning to fail with success. Failure is not final. A lot of people look at failure and it's, oh, I failed. I can't go back. And we even see that in other instances where maybe somebody has, has really caused a failure in their life or a shortcoming in their life and they just want to give up. And it's, I can't go back. I can't overcome this. I can't recover. But in truth, the way we should be looking at instances of failures and shortcomings are as lessons, life lessons. Things that we can take, we can learn from, we can grow from, and become better people. So again, the weight loss journey. Again, that is an example. If we go and look and say, okay, what happened that I stopped losing weight and gained those two pounds back? Was it lack of discipline? Was it what I ate? Was it just a one-off type situation? You can evaluate the failure and determine what was the cause and how to not have that happen again in the future. It's the same if you fail to meet a goal in business or as an entrepreneur, you can evaluate back to what those were and you can determine what was the cause, what was the shortcoming, what was the issue, how can I overcome this so it doesn't happen again. It's straightforward, guys. I don't know what you want me to do and, and it's not anything fancy here. We have to be able to look back and evaluate and determine what went wrong, what we did well, and look at it as a learning lesson. Anything that you have that happens in your life, and I promise you anything at all that happens in your life that you see as a failure, if you let it derail you, you will miss out on the important life lesson that it can teach you. But if you take that, you learn from it, and you learn how to move past that failure and learn how to not do that again, it will help you. So here's a practical example from me. There was an instance where I was really excited, really optimistic, really looking forward to a certain thing happening. Somebody addressed me. They were extremely negative. They kind of tore me down. They told me I was doing things wrong. I wasn't doing them well, even though I felt like they were great. 
and I let that one negative point of advice completely derail me and I completely pulled out of all of the positive and all of the good that I was doing because of one person that told me I was doing it wrong. That's the idea of perfectionism and even though I wasn't literally failing, it made me feel like a failure and I gave up and I stopped trying. What happened is I lost years of effort and growth and learning that I could have gained over that period of time where I was just sitting going, oh, woe is me, I'm a failure, I can't do this. Instead, if I would have taken that and said, okay, why does this person think that? How can I prove them wrong? What can I learn? What can I do? And I need to keep doing most of what I'm doing to continue growing. I would have failed or faced the criticism or felt faced the negativity, whatever that was, in a positive manner, would have grown from it and become a much better person on the other end of it. Thankfully, I did eventually reach that place, but it was years. I lost years of time because of negativity and being a perfectionist and wanting to please everybody. So for you, that's the same thing. If you are focused on being perfect at everything you do, meeting every goal 100% spot on, and believe me, I believe in goals. I believe in achieving goals. I believe in, in very optimistic goals but you have to recognize that you're not always going to hit them. And when you don't, you have to look back and say, what happened? Why didn't I hit it? And how can I improve and become better? So a bonus thought for you, don't just reflect and look back at your losses and the failures or shortcomings. Don't simply just look back at those and evaluate those. Do that same process when you succeed. When you do something great, you achieve a goal, you do something well, look back see how you were successful, see what went well, and then use that as a model to achieve future goals. If you evaluate both your successes and your failures, you will become more successful, you will be more consistent in your leadership, in your life, in your professional career, and it will help you in the long run as a professional, as a person, in your personal life, and in every aspect of your life if you learn to evaluate failures and successes effectively. And if you like this type of video, you like talking about the successes and failures, then you are in luck because next week is going to be a video where I'm looking at John Maxwell's book, Failing Forward, which deals with this very concept. So if you guys like this video and want to see that, let me know down in the comments that you're excited for seeing that video talking about Failing Forward by John Maxwell. And look for that video next week as we do a summary and some takeaways from that book by John Maxwell. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one.